so if you use IntelliJ IDE you have to first open it and make sure that you have followed the previous steps such as setting up your scene builder and downloading the JavaFX SDK so now we will go to new project then here we will select JavaFX application I have already selected it and then next now give a name to your project I'm gonna do classroom management system so I'm typing it here then finish okay we can see that it automatically gives you the controller dot java and main dot java and a sample fxml but as we can see we still have to say it of java effects because as you can see this all are in red marks and uh, they cannot find the java fx package so we need to go to here in file and then project structure then in libraries and in libraries we have to add java and here we have to add a path which is from the program files and then this java javafx sdk then library and then we will select ok library label we added to the selected modules yes we want to do this okay so it will look like this way and then apply and okay so now we no longer have red marks which this can recognize java fx but still we have errors as you can see yes we still have error error javafx runtime components are missing and are required to run this application so for this we have to go here in this main and edit configuration and now we have to add the vm option so you have to go to modify options and you have to select vm options and we will get like this make sure the package name should be there with main so here it is from the sample package now we will add the VM option here for Windows I am going to apply this but if you are on Mac or Linux just add Mac or Linux path here so I am applying my lib path here copying from my project place okay so I'm adding here my path of Java FX SDK 16 lib and apply okay so if we run it now this page is coming out here and this is null so we have to go here and then in scene builder and as we can see we cannot see anything here so if you have a problem here you have to go to your uh, setting and then you have to go in language and frameworks and then select JavaFX and 
you can choose this path path to scene builder okay you can also do it from dropping down it here as you can see I have already this system here so okay and I have nothing to apply now so I'm just going to press OK like this way you will complete your project now this is much better experience than NetBeans or Eclipse I will recommend you to use this see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye Allah Hafiz